Welcome back, everybody, to Pop Culture Conspiracy. I'm your host, T. How are y'all doing today? In this video, I'm going to be talking about Lizzo. The industry seems to be trying to cancel her, but do we care? Maybe we do, maybe we don't. I'm going to get into my opinions on Lizzo and my opinions on everything that is going on with these allegations and who I believe is behind them and who's really on her ass because it looks one way to the media and to the general public but it's something else going on behind the scenes which you may not be able to peep or you might and you might that's why you might be here but anyway please like share and subscribe let's talk in the comments and let me get into it so Lizzo is being canceled um, after all these allegations from her dancers saying that she was fat shaming them and creating hostile work environment and like making them do sexual stuff that they didn't want to do and just being unprofessional a bully they got people saying that she was fucking a man and took they fiance of 10 years you know like all this stuff is coming out about her at one time and i get it i get it but it is a lot and when i'm hearing all this stuff i'm just like wait wait wait, wait. whoa whoa slow down let me really take time and process this and look into this because this is a lot to be saying about somebody there's been no verdict nothing nothing has even happened yet legally with knowing the truth and sorting all of this out but yet beyonce is so quick to be like get the fuck off my tour lineup or you know my you know what i'm talking about you guys when beyonce is saying everybody's name on the queen's mix and then she um puts their name up and you know immediately she just pulls it and it's like um yeah didn't take much for you to do that some anybody can just say anything and you're just like no and i think that is suspicious because it's like beyonce you be all too you be all too hyped to praise madonna and fuck around with madonna but it's like madonna is just got involved or just got alleged for trafficking children and you know doing evil stuff with kids but yet you got all of this smoke for Lizzo so that's suspect and then next thing you know who Beyonce is married to Jay-Z she just got dropped from the Super Bowl lineup like Lizzo has been getting dropped from stuff left and right I'm gonna really look this up I know the Super Bowl stuff was like crazy Lizzo yes Lizzo just got dropped from Super Bowl halftime and you know Jay-Z runs that jay-z is the guy who runs he's the talent manager he's the fucking choir director for the fucking nfl and now lizzo is being dropped out of nowhere so again it just seems like a lot of smoke for a little bit of accusation that's just my mindset but there are other people who have been peeped this. I'm going to give credit to YouTuber For No Fame. I'm going to give credit to Psychic Bella Love. Those are two people who've been peeping like, um, the Carters are, might be behind this, okay? So I just want to start off with that. Um, you know, the Carters remind me of the couple from um, Rosemary's Baby. The couple that convinced the husband rosemary's husband to uh let them conjure up satan to get rosemary pregnant so they could have the antichrist and do all of this evil shit um they they remind me of that couple that that couple because those people were constantly like the movie ended how it began and it ended with girls getting thrown out of a window and dying and each time they set somebody up for their demise they just happened to be out of town and right after the cops showed up to investigate and look at the dead body 
the 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 evil couple was just like oh we're just getting back from vacation oh this is so sad and unfortunate she was such a great girl you know like that's how the carters act and the police in the movie were really in on it and so they were like oh it just was an unfortunate fall yeah let's just wrap this on up we don't really need a statement or anything from you guys you know it's it's just it shows the movie rosemary's baby is such a good movie because it really shows the inter workings of the industry and how it's one big brotherhood so that um is something that i find just you know just just a, just something that i notice with the carters and how they move they have a very strategic way of moving and i think with uh the the message that i got from rosemary's baby and that i'm getting with this lizzo situation is when you fuck with them demons and you get involved in their in their playground you open yourself up to them attacking you and them her ultimately hurting you you open yourself up to being another sacrifice on the table and please believe y'all beyonce and jay-z's day is coming it is coming if they can do what they did to michael jackson they are going to wreak havoc on them carters but while they are um you know making the double weight you know for their day in hell they're wrecking havoc on other people allegedly so let me get into the allegations people are saying that lizzo is fat shaming them fucking amen creating hostile work environment people are saying that she's making them eat bananas and touch people's coochies and touch people's titties and doing all this sexual bullshit and just like all of this shit and i'm gonna have to say you guys Another way that I know that this is a setup is because it's a lot coming out at one time. Um, it kind of reminds me um, of some of the stuff that was happening with T.I. and Tiny. When they had people coming after them, it was a lot of allegations. You know, it was a lot of people. And when, when, you know, when there's a lot of people coming out at one time or, you know, back to back, that's a setup. You know, like that's clearly a setup clearly somebody somebody had a conversation about you and that did that didn't go well and they came up with a strategy on how they're gonna take you down you got all of these different people talking about you one person on the same week one person is saying you fucking a you took they man you fucking a nigga another person is saying uh you was calling fat other people saying you fired them other you know what i'm saying it's just like a lot of shit coming out at once pictures is coming out of you with them backstage with bananas um video was coming out about you in an interview talking about how you wanted to eat bananas out of somebody coochie so it's just like lizzo i want to I, I don't know how I feel about you. I don't really like you as enough as a, as an artist to really feel bad for you. But it's just like, damn, sis, you know, they on your ass. You know, all I can really do is sit back and watch and see how this Illuminati play uh, plays out. Because it's just like, Lizzo, they on you, bitch. Like, they want your motherfucking head. Queen Lucy B., cough cough made a motherfucking phone call and set off with that bitch head and the head happened to be attached (laughs) to your motherfucking neck and now they on you so that's how i feel um do i believe the allegations a lot of them yeah some of them no Uh, the do i think lizzo got full of herself and had a mean girl energy and created a caddy high schoolish environment on her tour or you know with her dancers and her staff yes i do yes i do when women work together i have seen it i have dealt with it I have worked in corporate with a bunch of bitches. I know how women can be. I know how women who think they have power can be. I know how women can get jealous. I know how women can get insecure. I know how they can get intimidated and feel the need to assert dominance and feel the need to compete. It is a weird, sick psychological thing with an insecure bitch. So do I believe that Lizzo was on some mean girl, catty intimidation shit? Absolutely. 
I do think that she started smelling her own ass. I do think that she started getting full of herself. I do think that she got a little bit too big headed and fucked around, found out. I do believe it. I do. Like, I do believe she was, you know, feeling like these bitches should be lucky that they're on tour with Lizzo. I do believe that she felt like people around her should be grateful and should be down to do whatever she wanted to do and what she said goes and if I want to go to this freaky sex club you know you need to come and you do need to try to kiss my ass and you do need to try to cozy up to me and you do need to try to be my friend and I do believe she was showing favoritism to the bitches that she liked a lot and you know no professionalism no no boundaries in the workplace yes I do this is the music industry. There is no real corporate. There is no real handbook, employee handbook. There is no real HR. There is no, you know what I mean? Like there is no fucking structure and real policies in place. That's why everything bad goes down. <laughs> That's why you are better off in corporate America or you are better off at your rinky dink everyday ass fucking cashier job because if something happens to you they you know they might have employee comp they might be able to take you to the hospital or the doctor on the on the business's dime they may you might be able to again submit a fucking um, complaint to hr you might be able to sue for unemployment or wrongful termination like you might have more you know um, red tape in the background to try to protect you again there's an employee handbook a code of conduct company policy mission statement all of that bullshit Like, that comes along with a real fucking job. When you start messing around with this music industry, entertainment industry shit, it's anything goes. Why the fuck you think they got people, you know what I'm saying, getting sacrificed allegedly and children getting touched allegedly and a lot of this shit allegedly going on on islands and in dungeons and parties at people's houses and drugs, sex and rock and roll. Why you think all that shit going on? Because they're bitch HR, ha ha. Yeah. 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 Laughable. So, like, come on now. I do believe she had an unprofessional, raggedy-ass work environment. I do. I do believe Lizzo made them touch that lady titties, and they didn't want to. I do. I do believe when those girls said that, hey, we went to, you know, this sh- this show to try to just make Lizzo happy and against their own will. I do. I believe that. I believe Lizzo is a freak, nasty chick, just like the other people in the industry. Why you think she getting, uh, getting promo impressed? Why you think she's where she is? Lizzo has had to do some things to get where she is. If you anywhere around them Carters, oh, please, use a freak just like them, allegedly. You get down just like them. All the freaky deaky sex party, sacrifice, blood, sex, magic shit that they into, you gonna get down. Oh, please. That's how it goes. If, if we all dirty, you know what I'm saying? I'm dirty. He dirty. Bitch, we all getting filthy in this motherfucker. So that's the, that's the code. That's the G code of the industry. I definitely believe Lizzo is down with the freak nasty shit. I think Lizzo got turned out and started to normalize a lot of that freak shit. Just like other people and now thinks it's perfectly cool to eat bananas out of people's lady parts. I believe that. Uh, let me see. The, the girl who's saying that Lizzo took her man. <sighs> Do I believe it? To an extent. I don't know if she had pics. I just heard what she said. She said Lizzo took her fiance at 10 years. That's believable too. You know, and you know why? Because Lizzo got money. You know, like, when a rich bitch won't you, (laughs) these niggas ain't loyal. I do believe that, you know, yeah, sis, your fiancé was, you talking about some, first of all, here's the real truth. If he was your, if he was your fiancé for 10 years or your 10-year boyfriend, he never loved you anyway, girl. You know what I mean? He never loved you anyway. If he didn't marry you by then, he was never going to do it. He never loved you anyway. Like, so it was nothing for a rich bitch to take him. I'm just going to rest my case. Um, let me see what else going on. But do I think Lizzo fat shame that girl? No. 
I don't. I don't think Lizzo fat shamed her. I just don't. Like, I just don't. Like, I don't believe that one. But um, I would have to get some proof. And from there, I would be like, oh, damn, Lizzo, they got you down bad. But no, I kind of believe everything else but that. Um, Let's see. Do I care that Lizzo is being canceled? Do I feel bad for her? Do I want to see her fail? Um, I think I'm kind of indifferent. I think Lizzo is talented. I just think Lizzo is like a lot of other people in the industry, though, who will let the industry do anything to them for a dollar. And they and they fall on their own sword. I think Lizzo pushes a negative agenda. I don't like the agenda that she pushes. That's part of the reason why I'm indifferent because I feel like I like that Lizzo's talented. I don't really listen to her music that much. I really only like one song by her, but I just feel like Lizzo, you push bad agendas on black women. You don't represent us in a good light because you carry yourself very, um, very just poorly. Like you have a low vibration about yourself. Um, you are happy being overweight and you're pushing the body positivity movement and you're pushing, um, people being happy, being fat and overweight. And I don't, I don't agree with that. I just do not. I think especially black women, we have a history of being overweight. Being overweight is not healthy and people need to be disciplined. People need to drop the weight. People need to lose weight. Like, obesity is a huge problem in America. Um, Heart disease is one of the uh, main killers of people in America. So, yeah, I think people need to be encouraged to eat fucking salad, eat their fucking vegetables, and eat healthy, period. People need to um, work out. People need to drink water. They need to stop drinking so much, stop smoking so much tobacco. That goes for the hookah and the cigarettes. It's got to stop. People need to be healthy. People need to, again, exercise, work out, love themselves, and really focus on being their best self. People need to take their vitamins, their supplements, probiotics. You don't need to be pushing people to be happy being fat. You don't need to be pushing that agenda and encouraging people to be stagnant in their big ass weight. And part of the reason why Lizzo can't lose weight is because that's, I believe, part of her goddamn contract is to stay big and push the fucking agenda. So I don't agree with that. Black women have a hard time in hospitals with pregnancies and giving birth. Black women just struggle from a lot medically. We don't need another person in our community encouraging us to be big. We just don't. Like, we are a demographic of women that really do need to be pushed to be healthy in every single aspect. Sexually, financially, mentally, physically. Like, no, Lizzo, I can't get behind you pushing that body positivity bullshit because it's not a good agenda. And Lizzo be acting a fool, okay? Lizzo be out here um, on the toilet, on Instagram Live. You know, I think she's a modern day female minstrel show. She's definitely an industry puppet. And again, I don't like the way she carries herself. I think she carries herself in a in a bad way. And that's why I just can't get behind Lizzo. So I'm indifferent to her fall. I like her talent, but I hate her. Um, I hate her uh, agenda that she has to push. So with that being said, I'm indifferent to whatever happens to her. I think with all that is happening to her is just karma. You get involved with those devils they're gonna they're gonna be devils and ultimately all y'all asses are gonna be on the sacrifice uh table all of y'all so that that's how the game goes and i'm gonna just let them do them i'm a proud motherfucking christian so i don't worry about all this i'm protected by the blood of jesus all these fools want to do these illuminati antics so whatever happens to them happens to them and that's really how i feel so um with Lizzo, you know, may may whatever is meant to you know, I I can't tell you guys like girl, I hope you figure that out. That's really how I feel. You know, good luck with that. I hope you figure it out. We don't need any more bad agendas though. 
So let me know how y'all feel in the comments. Let's talk about it. Let me know if you think the allegations are true or false. And let me know, do you think it is the Carters on Lizzo's ass? Let's talk. Bye, y'all.